we have observed the installation of pipelines for drinking water projects as well as for the transportation of gas crude oil diesel and petrol these pipelines are typically characterized by their height and relatively small diameter however in the case of irrigation schemes it is rare to find long pipelines of same length and large size but now a similar scheme of indira sagar project kalisin phase 2 is currently being constructed in madhya pradesh a 107 km long pipeline with a diameter of 4.6 meters is being laid as a part of this project This marks the first time such a large pipeline is being built in the country both in terms of length and size. The water is pumped to a total height of 138 meters. The Gayatri pump house in Kaleshwaram project pumps water to a height of 118 meters. This is the first time that such a high pipeline has been built in any country. The second phase of the Kalisan works being undertaken by MEIL includes the construction of pump houses, a power control room, power supply lines and lines for the main pipeline pumping stations. The project is being set up to irrigate 2,75,000 acres. This scheme is the first in the country to use pipelines on such a large scale. It is also the first scheme in the country to use so many pump houses. It is common to build pump houses for irrigation schemes. However, in this scheme, 45 pumping machines are being installed in four pump houses. Each pumping machine has a separate pump and motor. The 107 km pipeline is huge and 45 pumps are being set up to supply water to the same height. Even though there are instances where a large number of pumping machines were installed in multi-stage lift schemes like Kaleshwaram and Handri Niva this is the first of its kind in Kalisind which is relatively smaller in size but it involves in setting up more number of pumping machines to cater to the needs of people in that region The Indira Sagar project in Madhya Pradesh is being used as a source to pump water for the Kalisind project Water is being diverted from the Narmada region to Kalisind River region in the Chambal Valley of the Ganga Basin. This is a notable feature of the project as it involves transferring water from one catchment area to another. Normally, pipeline installations involve discharging water from pump houses to gravity canals. Similar approaches were followed in Kaleshwaram and Handri Niva projects. However, supplying water for 107 kilometers through canals is not feasible in the Kalisan project due to the geoclimatic conditions and the water flow has to reach the height. That is why a longest single pipeline of 107 kilometers is being laid underground. Four new pipe manufacturing centers were established in Gwali, Ladavad, Panjapura and Birgod to produce pipes. for this project in the past pipes with diameter of 3 meters were commonly used but for this project fabrication yards equipped with cranes of the same capacity were set up to produce pipes with a diameter of 4.6 meters on the other hand the process of placing the pipes underground and welding them together is not an easy task When pipes are buried even a small flaw can cause them to burst during water supply or result in water leakage from the welded areas to prevent these issues hydro testing is performed on each pipe this involves using x-ray like machines during the pipe manufacturing process to check for defects and ensure quality furthermore hydro testing is performed by filling the pipe with water and increasing the pressure to ensure there are no leaks after the pipe is buried in the ground hydro testing of such large pipes is not an easy task the construction of four pump houses is an important part of the project pump house 1a located near indira sagar reservoir pumps water to the height of 1 or 3 meters pump house 2 near borkailya pumps water to a height of 138 meters Pump house 3 near Tundri Khera pumps water to a height of 129 meters. Pump house 4 near Rahili pumps water to a height of 51 meters. A total of 45 machines are required for the pump houses. So far, 
20 pumps and 30 meters have arrived at the construction site. Once the project is completed, the districts of Kandwa, Devas, Shajapur and Rajgarh in Madhya Pradesh will benefit. People in 270 villages will have access to drinking water and water for irrigation.